what is Web 2.0, you might ask. When we hear the term Web 2.0, we assume that there was something before called Web 1.0. Actually there wasn't anything as such. All there was is simply the internet, going back in history, Web 2.0 is a name coined many years ago by Tim O'Reilly. He used it to label the raft of changes that were occurring in the design of websites and the many new platforms, technologies, and social interactions that were springing up on the web in quick successions. Here are a few examples of today's internet. 1. Suddenly websites are not showing only text and still pictures. Instead, they contain more complex media. Point 2. Web pages used to be packed with text, ads, etc., and were aligned to the left most of the time. When Web 2.0 came into life, it has become more fun to browse web pages. Point 3. Visitors can now interact with web pages instead of just reading and looking. Point 4. There is a new trend of websites, called blogs, that started growing dramatically. Blogs attract more visitors these days than full websites. Point 5. Web pages are more likely to be tagged than organized with links to other pages. 6. Nowadays, users can give feedback on web pages instead of just being inactive readers. Point 7. There is a new concept called Wiki that allows visitors to edit the information on the pages. So, whether this means a second coming of the web or not is only a matter of opinion. But whatever you may think, Web 2.0 is the term used these days to describe all the radical changes that continue to happen to the internet, as well as the next generation of sites that will adopt them. I hope this short definition helped you figure what Web 2.0 is and how it has changed the concept of the internet nowadays.